Welcome back to Let's Play Deja Vu Part 4. I'm your host, Davy GB. And this is the crack den that we're in. So I think it's time for us to leave and uh, to get going on our way. Especially, I love, I love especially how, like, use a gun to open up a door. The cab driver doesn't freak out. No cops, neighbors, nothing like that. That's how you know you've hit rock bottom, people. Where, where somebody can fire a gun at your house, at your door, to break in. Cat, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Alright. Let's get going and crack this case. Seventy-five cents. Oh god. All right. Guess I can't pay for my liquor addiction. Booze. It's what's for dinner. What do you think you're doing? Oh god damn it! It was done like four times. Then cast quarters. Yeah, you take those quarters. You're on a quiet street. Alright, let's open the door and walk on in. You're in the lobby of the office building. Ace Harding, Private Eye. Hey, it's your office. I mean, our office. You're standing in front of a grimy, grimy door. A grimy office. I love, I especially love all the cracks and like broken, the broken walls and stuff like that. I think that's awesome. Your vision swims and you stumble awkwardly. Catching yourself, you rub your throbbing temples. The pain behind your eyes is getting worse. You wish you knew that well, maybe that would help alleviate the terrible pain. All right. Now we're going to go downstairs first because there's a pharmacy and we need to get some meds. Uh... Dr. Brody, you're standing by the entrance to an office of Dr. Brody. Well, hello, Dr. Brody. Listen, Brody, I'm here for my fix. Well, listen here. Oh. <laughs> uh. All right, we're going to use the key. Oh, shit. What do you think you're doing? Oh, God damn you. Let's get inside. Talk. It's the sterile furnishings of a doctor's office. Okay. Let's look around. Do. Okay. Let's blow the lock off that. I especially love it. In a doctor's office, nobody comes running. No cops, nobody. It's it's awesome. The guy upstairs who's hiding behind your door who wants to kill you doesn't doesn't fucking like say, Oh shit, let's get out I gotta get out of here. No. He, nobody cares. So Nobody cares at all. Alright. Let's look. Let's, let's do some reading first. Let's, uh, let's read some of those files that we got. It's a receipt with a handwritten note from the bottom, which reads Requested delivery to Joe's place by the secretary, Martha Vickers. You read the patient's file. Ace Harding, during his last physical, was strongly urged to quit smoking. Well, makes sense. Smoking's pretty bad for your health. 
It's a patient's medical record. Symptoms, fainting, stomach pains, feverish, vomiting, uh, blah, 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 paritis, high fever, coffee, no appetite, headache, symptoms of pneumonia. This contains an index of medicines. Ophriol medicine used in the treatment of patients. Meridine medicine used in the treatment of patients. Uh, nerve gas can be fatal. Dilethanol trimine a medicine that can cause permanent memory loss. Uh, sodium bicarbonate medicine to contract blah, 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 overheating. Ah, uh, kind of. I guess somebody wanted to be a chemist or, or a pharmacist when they were all younger. Sodium pentanol induces the subject in a state of weakness. That's uh, the antidote of that. I believe that is what we want. Another wave of pain makes that near impossible. See. You gotta love the human body. Like my foot's kind of messed up, so I gotta wear like a cast, and I gotta well, like wrap it up and stuff like that. But it's not one of those like permanent six month casts. It's one of those casts that you can pop your foot out every once in a while and let it breathe. Okay, let's go shopping. We are going to need, I believe. Uh, which ones? Which ones? Which ones? Which ones? Come on, memory, don't fail me now. We got to look for, I believe, so, okay, I believe that's the one we gotta get. This is bison, this is medicine vial, and that is pentanol medicine vial, it's a bison medicine vial. Because what we need is med 6 and med 1, so... Trying to talk to the vials. Got a problem with that? <clears throat> okay, let's see. Uh, let's give it the capsules. Let's see if we can make them here. I don't think you can now. <sighs> I gotta take them then. Alright, so meds one, that is for the lady in the trunk, I believe, okay, and yeah, so, I'm just trying to recall what I need. Okay, we need this, med 6. Yeah, we need all med 6. That's the, uh, med 6 is the, uh, medication that we need to, uh, stop the pains that are, that are gonna, like, wind up killing us in the game. Uh, meds 1, which you see me take. Uh, I'm gonna go take some more, grab some more. After I try something out, uh, it's because what happens is that you, we need to take all med six, and because it'll kill us, as I said. But meds ones helps out the lady in the trunk, and that's it. All the other meds aren't. We don't. We don't need any of the other meds. And here comes the flashback. The medicine begins to work. Your head starts to clear and a memory rolls in from your childhood. It's Father O'Malley. The stereotypical Irish drunk priest who molested you and ruined your father's Sunday. Uh, 
the pain eases, you feel you might actually be getting better. Ace, Ace, come over here. I want you to meet my little priest. Okay. No. 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 No, really? I don't think uh, we don't I don't think we need all of it I just like to make sure that you know we got fair share of, we got good supply so I don't we don't have to come back here and I think that is it so let's get the heck out of here and uh, go upstairs to our office and we'll see uh, We'll just see who uh, who's waiting for us. Oh man, I sure do hope it's like a surprise party. And this guy's just like, oh man, I can't. I don't know where to hide, you guys. I don't know where to hide. And it's like, well, Bob, get down. He's drunk. He's got a gun, man. He's probably gonna shoot you. No, he isn't. Uh, your vision swims and you stumble awkwardly, catching yourself. You rub your throbbing temples. The pain behind your eyes is getting worse. You wish you knew what the maybe. So basically, we're gonna die. I'm gonna show you what happens when you don't take all of the six meds. Uh, let's see, because I want to show you guys the uh, awesome, the awesome ending, well, the awesome uh, death scene. But first, let's kill this guy. Happy birthday! Ah. Oh. Oh my god, Bobby's dead! The bullet hole and the lack of movement tells you the threat is gone. Oh my god. Nobody gives a shit. N honestly, you fire a gun twice to unlock, like, a door and a filing cabinet. No one cares. Uh, you shoot a guy in your office whose body is no longer there. Uh, <sighs> draw a breath. And here... You die. R.I.P. Ace Harding. It appears your time is up and your luck has run out, Ace. Oh man, that's very dark. This is not music. But you gotta admit, though, you know, at least somebody cared enough about you to actually buy you a tombstone. The, th the throbbing and disorientation reaches such a peak that your, uh, your brain can't take it. Uh, look. Cause your memory loss, and that's it. You can continue, or you can end, but we're not a bunch of quitters, so we are going to continue. And we're gonna take another one of Med Six. No, no, oh shit, Tethano. What if we can take the fentanyl? Don't even bother to try it, Ace. Aw, oh, damn it, why don't we do this? Yes, 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 yes. Continue. Okay, let's take some. Okay, let's put the mess back in the bottles. Stuff like that. So we can't use this one. Huh. So I guess you can't overdose on any other medicines. It's pretty weird, but I guess it makes sense. Damn it, why are we back here? Alright, well that's it for part 4 of Let's Play Deja Vu. Come back and join me for part 5. Coming up soon, okay you guys? So, take it easy. This is David GB, signing off.